the entire universe condensed into a rock that can fit into the palm of your hand. Nature is unbelievable. Here are the 15 most unreal rock formations. Number 15, Galaxy Opal Rock. Of all the precious gems that are retrieved from mining around the world, opals are one of the most spectacular and mystifying. The opal capital of the world is a town called Kubrupedi in Australia. It's where the most impressive specimens have been found and some of them are beyond belief. That's because the stones called precious opals have a unique structure of silica spheres on the microscopic level, and these diffract light across their microstructures to create wonderful iridescent displays. One of the most famous types looks as if it has a galaxy trapped inside it. But there's also others that look like they contain rainbows, fire, water, and even ones that glow under UV light. Number 14. Sadak Bolton Sadak is a 3,640-foot-tall mountain in the Rogaland country of Norway, which is known for its spectacular views of the surrounding landscapes from the summit and for having one of the world's highest waterfalls but there's a highly unusual rock there that draws tourists from far and wide to see it because it has somehow become wedged between two others over a daunting precipice. Known as Sadak Bolton, the 180 cubic foot rock is thought to have been deposited there as a glacier was melting at the end of the Ice Age more than 50,000 years ago, and it was squeezed into position so tightly that it's remained there since. Hanging 3,228 feet above the valley floor, it's a perfect photo opportunity and in recent years has become a popular starting point for base jumpers, looking for one of the most exhilarating rides of their lives. Number 13. Rainbow Quartz You may have seen images of rainbow quartz before or even seen them for sale for unbelievable prices in your local jewelry store. But the most surprising thing about this gem is that it isn't actually a natural formation at all. It starts life as quartz, which develops beautiful crystal formations over thousands of years underground. The crystals have a natural electrostatic charge, and this is used to apply a layer of titanium molecules, and sometimes gold, in a process that's called magnetron ionization. As multiple layers of the metal are added, they create an optical interference effect for the light that's bouncing off, and this results in us seeing swirling waves of iridescent metallic colors. Surprisingly, this process doesn't affect the structure of the crystal at all, so it remains as strong as it was before the metal was added. Number 12. Split Apple Rock Split Apple Rock, which is known locally as Tokungawa, can be seen in Tasman Bay, which is on New Zealand's South Island, and just so happens to look like an apple that's been cut in half. The strange formation is made up of granite that dates back to at least 66 million years ago during the Cretaceous period but quite how it came to look like this is not entirely clear. It's thought that the cleft that split it along was a naturally occurring plane of weakness through the rock, which is quite common with granite. And over hundreds of thousands of years, the effect of rain and the waves of the ocean exploited the weakness and broke it open. The Maori, however, have a different explanation. They believe it was split in half by two gods who were competing to prove which one was more powerful. Number 11, Bismuth Crystal. Bismuth is an unusual metal with a surprisingly poor ability to absorb heat, and the title is one of the most diamagnetic elements that we know of, meaning that it will repel any magnetic forces that comes into range of. But the most unreal thing about it is the shape that its crystals form in certain conditions. When found naturally, it's brittle and white or slightly pink in color, but if it's dissolved into liquid and allowed to form crystals, it becomes something completely different. The shape is almost unbelievable, with a step-like structure that occurs as the result of higher growth rate on the outside edges that happens on the inside edges. Furthermore, when bismuth oxidizes, it does across the surface of the crystals. It's covered in a film that reflects light as iridescent colors. As the thickness of the oxidized film varies across the crystal, different colors are reflected, which means that in some cases you'll see virtually all the colors of the rainbow from just one angle. Number 10. Wave Rock Hyden Rock is a granite hill that's around 184 miles to the southeast of Perth in Australia. And while from one side it looks like an ordinary mound, it has a rather peculiar structure carved into the other side. Known as Wave Rock, it looks just like a giant 49-foot tall and 360-foot long ocean wave and has become a popular tourist attraction. It has long been an important site for the Ballardong people, who believe that it's actually a groove that was left behind by the Rainbow Serpent after she drank all of the water from the land and had to drag her swollen body back home. As for a scientific explanation, it's a great example of what's called a flared slope. 
These can form on isolated hills like Hyden Rock when they become a channel for groundwater, which then erodes the lower parts of the slope at a much higher rate than the upper parts. To further enhance the effect, the process also erodes the land surface next to the slope too, which reduces its elevation and makes the flare look even more pronounced. Number 9. Trolltunga Trolltunga, which literally means the troll's tongue, is a rock formation in the Ullesvang municipality of Norway. It sticks out from the mountain as part of and hangs 2,300 feet above the Rigadesvatnet Lake. It was formed by glacial processes around 10,000 years ago when the entire region was covered in ice that froze all of the crevices of the mountain rock. As the ice expanded, it broke off large, sharp-edged blocks, which were carried away and left a series of unreal formations like Trolltunga behind. Originally, there was a waterfall next to the outcrop, but the water has since been diverted for power production at a local hydroelectric plant. And now it's one of the most serene and surreal sites in the region. It had long been a little-known secret, with fewer than 800 people trekking the 8.5-mile route to reach the structure from the nearest village. But in recent years, thanks to the increase in number of people looking for that perfect Instagram moment, the number of visitors making the journey have increased a hundredfold. And with 80,000 annual visitors, it's become one of the most popular hikes in the whole country. Before we move on, be sure to subscribe to Top 5s with notifications on. Number 8. The Horseshoe Bend As rivers carve through landscapes over thousands of years, they produce various unique formations. But there's arguably none as stunning and unreal as the Horseshoe Bend near the town of Page in Arizona, where the Colorado River has created a stunning vista. It's about five miles downstream from the Glen Canyon Dam and can be accessed by a three-quarter mile trek from the nearest road. The best view can be had from the cliff that lies opposite, where you can look out over the thousand-foot canyon drop and see the green water of the Colorado River as it encircles the rock formation. Like many other incredible views like this, it used to be mainly popular with hikers and amateur photographers. But with the improvement in camera technology and the desire to have images for social media feeds, the number of people trekking to the site has substantially increased in recent years. Number 7. Queen's Head the Yellow Cape in Taiwan was created more than 5 million years ago by extreme geological processes and is now an area of land that stretches more than a mile into the ocean that's covered in structures called hudu stones that are small outcrops of rocks. Due to weathering over the years, they have become all different shapes and sizes, but there's one that stands out among the rest, which has become known as the Queen's Head. It's become somewhat of an iconic feature in Taiwan and was so named because of its similarity to Queen Elizabeth I it would have taken more than 4,000 years to form like this and is weathered by natural forces at a rate of around a quarter of an inch per year. The neck is almost 50 inches long and you can see that it's only just holding itself together. It's believed that it will finally break within the next few years or when the next earthquake strikes, so efforts are being taken to try to prolong its life. As a popular tourist site, people are prohibited from touching it just in case they exert a little too much pressure. And there have been attempts to claim other rocks in the area also look like famous people to try to divert visitors' attention away from the fragile queen's head. Number 6. Chocolate Hills The Chocolate Hills in the Bohol province of the Philippines are a series of strange mounds that cover an area of 20 square miles. There are known to be at least 1,260 of them, but it's thought that there could be as many as 1,776, each of which is covered in green grass during the wet season that turns brown during the dry season which is where they get their name from. They range in size between 98 and 164 feet tall and are actually made mainly of limestone that's covered with a thin layer of soil. The region was once covered in an ocean and was the currents that flowed across the seabed that eroded the hills, which remained standing when the water receded. They're therefore a great place to find marine fossils, but excavations are strictly limited. The hills have become one of the most popular tourist attractions in the country, and there are calls for them to be designated as a UNESCO World Heritage Site because of their uniqueness. Number 5. Devil's Tower Between 225 and 195 million years ago, northeastern Wyoming was covered in a shallow sea, and most of the unusual geological features in the region date back to that time. The one that stands out the most is called the Devil's Tower, which is a 1,267-foot-tall igneous rock formation that rises above the Belfort River. It's believed to be the remnants of a huge volcano that once stood there, something that's supported by the discovery of volcanic material elsewhere in the state that has the same chemical composition of the tower. Due to the relatively flat surrounding terrain, you can see it from miles away, and it was actually the first official national monument of the U.S. 
having been designated as such in 1906 by President Roosevelt. For a long time, it's been a central feature of Native American culture, where they tell various stories that explain its origin. And in the late 19th century, it was a base for fur trappers, as it was an easily identifiable waypoint in the area. If you think you recognize it but have never been to Wyoming, it's probably because the structure is so picturesque that it's been used as the setting for several blockbuster movies, most notably Close Encounters of the Third Kind in 1977, where it was used as a location for the final sequence of the film. As a result, visitor numbers increased dramatically, and still to this day, more than 400,000 people make the trip every year. Number 4. Fairy Chimneys the unique geography of the Cappadocia region of Turkey has led to the development of several unusual natural and man-made structures, but despite there being underground cities that were carved from limestone rock, arguably the most incredible sight to see are the fairy chimneys. Their strange shape and design have puzzled travelers through the region for centuries who couldn't conceive they were naturally formed. Instead, they told stories of the benevolent fairies that lived underneath them and blessed those that journeyed past, or were perhaps the complete opposite and were, in fact, the domain of demons. The truth, while not as magical, is equally as impressive, however. Between 3 and 9 million years ago, this region was of intense volcanic activity. At first, ash would be deposited, followed by layers of lava that would eventually cool down, and then in subsequent eruptions, the process would be repeated. Millennia of erosion from rainwater has worn away the weaker deposits and left the structures that we see today. There is, though, a more unpleasant side to these fairy chimneys, which, had the original settlers of the town and the area known about when they moved there in the first place, they probably would have stayed well clear. The volcanic material that they dug and carved through contains a mineral called arionite, which, when inhaled even in small amounts, can lead to mesothelioma in a similar way to asbestos. More than 50% of deaths in the three local villages have been attributed to this, and it's the reason why visitors are advised to only take in the sites for a short period of time. Number 3. Eye of the Sahara The Rickhatch structure, which is also often referred to as the Eye of the Sahara, is an incredible circular formation in the Sahara Desert in Mauritania. It's an upside-down dome that's 25 miles in diameter and reveals various layers of rock and sediment that are seen as concentric rings of varying colors. Amazingly, it was only recently that the extent of this place was truly known, because it's so vast from ground level that you can hardly even tell you're inside it, apart from the fact that there are large ridges in the ground. When seen from above, however, it becomes clear that something unusual is going on here. The inner ring, for example, is about 2 miles from the center of the structure and itself is 65 feet wide, while the outer ring is 5 miles from the center and is 160 feet wide. The leading theory about how it developed is that when the supercontinent Pangaea began to break apart 100 million years ago, molten rock was pushed up towards the surface but didn't manage to breach all the way through. It created a series of layers of rock and dissolved the limestone near the center which caused a depression. There are those who believe this is where the mythological city of Atlantis stood thanks to the discovery of archaeological artifacts that date back hundreds of thousands of years. But as things stand, there's no definitive evidence to support this theory. Number 2. Stone Forest Of all the unique geological formations that can be seen across China, the most awe-inspiring is without a doubt the Stone Forest. Designated as a UNESCO World Heritage Site, it's 56 miles away from the city of Kunming in the Yunnan province and covers an area of almost 150 square miles. It almost seems as if the stone pillars are emerging from the ground like stalagmites, or that they're petrified trees, but the formation was far more complicated than that, and has taken a very long time. The region was covered in a shallow sea around 270 million years ago, and this resulted in layer upon layer of sandstone and limestone to be deposited onto the ground. As the sea receded, wind and rain slowly weathered and carved these pillars, removing the softer rock and leaving the stronger structures to remain. When you're stood at the edge of the forest, there are stone pillars as far as you can see, and it's one of those places where you're forced to contemplate the awesome power of the planet and how insignificant we are in the face of it. It's by far the most popular tourist attraction in the region and has the highest 5A classification from the Chinese Tourist Attraction Rating Board. Number 1. The Manpupuna Rocks to the west of Russia's Ural Mountains in the Komi Republic, there are seven isolated stone pillars known as the Manpupuna Rocks. 
or alternatively, the Seven Strong Men rock formations. At between 100 and 140 feet tall, there seems to be no reason why they should be stood there, but the incredible truth of their origin lies 200 million years in the past. Back then, there used to be tall mountains in the area, and amazingly, since then, the mountains were worn away by snow, wind, rain, and heat, and all that remains are these seven pillars. They are seen as one of the seven natural wonders of Russia, and were sites of spiritual significance for the local Mansi people, who believed it to be a grave sin to go anywhere near or to climb on them. There are legends that were created when the seven evil spirits were imprisoned by the gods, and in respect of this, access to the site is still limited. As a result, the surrounding area hasn't been spoiled by tourism and remains as pristine as they would have been when the first explorers came across them. Subscribe to Top 5s for more and check out some of our other popular videos.